Hey everybody, welcome back to About the Popcorn. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. So today we're going to be doing who I believe is going to win tomorrow at the SAG Awards. Now, for my family who I forced to watch my videos, this is not my Super Bowl, you guys. It's still the playoffs. This is going to be who um, I believe is going to win, not who I want to win, but I'm still going to give those to you as well because it is me. Um, now, I am only focusing, just like the Globes, I'm only focusing on the film section of it because, as a reminder, I really don't watch that much TV, so I can't really I keep putting my two cents on the TV category because I think I've only seen maybe like one or two of the uh, shows that are nominated. Just From the looks of it and how the Globes win, I guess I'll just put my money on Fleabag we'll see um i have never seen fleabag but that seems to be doing very good and it seems to be on everybody's like high list so i feel like that may be a pretty safe bet so we're gonna go ahead and start off with outstanding performance by a male actor in a leading role um nominees are christian bell for forby ferrari leonardo dicaprio once a time in hollywood um adam driver Mary story uh taryn edgerton rocket man and joaquin phoenix for joker All right so here the obvious winner who's been taking every everything is Joaquin that's who's going to win that's possibly who's going to take everything now of course I would really love for Adam Driver to win and I feel that if he has an opportunity to win in something it would be at the SAG so I actually wouldn't be surprised if he does take um, that award t uh, tomorrow night but obviously it's going to be Joaquin Phoenix who's going to take home um, the award uh, but fingers crossed that Adam Driver because I really really loved him in Marriage Story I know how I feel about that movie Moving on to the better half, outstanding performance by a female actor in a leading role. The nominees are Cynthia Erivo and Harriet, I'm pretty sure I still botched her name, Scarlett Johansson for Marriage Story, Lupita Nyong'o for Us, Charlize Stone for Bombshell, and Renee Zellweger for Judy. Again, the obvious winner here would be Renee for Judy. I still have not seen Judy. I do hear that the performance is really good, that the movie overall is not the best, but the performance definitely is really good. Again, I would love for Scarlett Johansson Hanson to win because I just loved her in marriage so I just love Scarlett to be honest with you. Outstanding performance by a male actor in a supporting role. Our nominees are Jamie Foxx for Just Mercy, Tom Hanks A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, Al Pacino for The Irishman, Joe Pesci for The Irishman, and Brad Pitt for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I mean again the obvious winner would be Brad Pitt. I mean he's literally taking everything. If I had to pick an alternative, I used to say Joe just because you know he came out of retirement and it would be nice for him to like go back into retirement with an award but quite honestly al pacino did a way better uh, job in the irishman so he would actually be a very pleasant surprise uh to had up there and tom hanks could possibly also you know bust like uh taron edgerton and missy link from the globes and just like you know make his way up to the stage um Tom Hanks would be my wild card for uh, for the night. A stunning performance by a female actor in a supporting role. Nominees are Dern for Marriage Story, Scarlett Johansson for uh, Jojo Rabbit, Nicole Kidman for Bombshell, Jennifer Lopez for Hustlers, and Margot Robbie for Bombshell. Um, again, obvious winner here would be Laura Dern. Could go to Jennifer. I mean, people really are praising her performance in Hustlers, but... I don't get it. I really just don't get it. They say this is like her best performance. To me, it's Jennifer being Jennifer. Again, like don't come after me for that. This is just my opinion. I, I don't see it. I don't see what the big fuss is about it. I thought the movie was okay. I, honestly, in my opinion, and if anybody was going to be nominated for that movie, it should have been Constance Wu. I honestly preferred her performance over Jennifer's. Like, just hands down, I felt that she was way better. I'm gonna go to Laura Dern. If Jennifer wins, it's gonna be like, whoa. But, I mean, she didn't get the Oscar nom. We'll get to the Oscar snubs when I do that video. I don't know. I mean, I didn't even do an Oscar snub video. I should have done it by now, but I haven't done it. Let me just incorporate the snubs when I do my winner prediction video. You know, closer to to the Oscars, the day, the day before the Oscars. <laughs> Yeah, you yeah, know how I do. Moving right along to outstanding performance by a cast in a motion picture. Uh, the nominees are Bombshell, The Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Parasite. For this one, this this is this is when it got hard, you guys. Okay, so you yeah, know how I feel about Jojo Rabbit. I'm gonna keep promoting Jojo Rabbit as much as I can, you guys. I love this movie so so much, literally. So I would love love. For this movie to win, I would love it for to, to win an Oscar, but it, it, it's definitely a wild card at the Oscar. Very pleasant surprise. Realistically, I don't think it'll win. 
more than likely it's going to be once upon a time in hollywood i really am not kind of like hustlers i'm really not a fan of that movie i mean it was good it was entertaining i really don't see myself rewatching it i'm going to be doing the best picture showcase and i already have my break and that's going to be when once upon a time in hollywood comes on to go and get some food it's good i get where you know it's like old time hollywood and it's you know and that's why i feel like it's going to win because you know it's giving you that yeah you know of course it's quentin tarantino he's freaking amazing i mean that ending part of it was just like the whole fight situation with the manson family people i mean that was so cool i give it at that that was really awesome hopefully i can come back from eating right around that time that that happens because that was literally my favorite part but i really don't want it to. i mean if it's gonna win i prefer to win here at the sides and not at the oscars now, the irishman used to be up higher but honestly the love for the irishman i feel like it's just like coming down and i get it it's long it's not for everybody but um i think the irishman's time was very short-lived and at this point you know i really don't see it happening i mean it could but at this point, I really don't see it happening anymore. One that I feel that could possibly get it, because I know a lot of people are really rooting for this movie in particular to just get more than the foreign nomination would be Parasite. And I could see that. There is so much love for that movie. I have yet to see it. I'm going to see it at the showcase. I don't know how the hell I'm going to do it, you guys. That movie's not going to start to like 11 something at night. And literally, it's going to be like a 24-hour marathon. I'm scared that I'm not going to be able to focus very well in that movie. I'm not going like, to give it the attention and the love that it deserves you guys so if i don't feel as amazing as everybody does please do not like hate me for it because i'm not about that late night life and i go to sleep early you guys it could very well take this award as well of course i would love for jojo rabbit to win i think hollywood is gonna take it i would not be surprised if parasite is the one that wins at night final category outstanding action performance by a stunt ensemble and a motion picture so nominee these are Avengers Endgame, 4B Ferrari, The Irishman, Joker, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Me personally, I would love for 4B Ferrari to win. I feel that that could possibly take it. Realistically speaking, it's gonna go to Avengers. Feel like that's the one. I mean, from all of these, that's the I feel like the most obvious choice. Hollywood would be my third pick on that. The Irishman and Joker, if those win, that's gonna be like a what? Because like, no. I it, it has to go to in game like it, it, it has to uh, but I, yeah these are my choices um we'll see if anything changes between now that I'm filming and tomorrow when I do my reaction video so I don't know actually you know what for this one I feel more confident it's less category so I don't feel as stressed I don't think so right the only other possibility just because he did take the globe could Terry? No, Terry wouldn't be able to beat. I mean, between Adam and Joaquin, there's no freaking way that Terry Anderson could win. I haven't seen Rocket Man, but I don't think that he would outbeat them. Oh my God, you guys, do you think he could outbeat them? Can you imagine? I mean, my jaw would be like way down. I don't even know. You guys, I literally just got scared because I was just like, oh my god, you guys, like, that could seriously be a possibility. Could it be? No, there's no way. There's no way. What do you know? Oh my god, what if it happens? Okay, you guys, I just freaked myself out because anything could happen. Anything could happen, you guys. All right. So, let me know down below what your guys' predictions are. Are we about the same? Do we have some differences? Again, don't come after me if I happen to say some sort of, like, remark on a movie that you absolutely love and adore. Um, again, personal opinion. Um, I'm entitled to dislike a film that you adore. Just, just don't be nasty in the comment section below. There's, there's no reason to do that. You know, there's so much negativity and ugliness in the world to come and argue about a movie, you guys. Like, seriously. Like, no. Don't even come after me with that. Look out for my reaction video. It would either be up tomorrow. Like, I don't think it'll be up tomorrow. It'll be up on Monday, you guys. <laughs> um, more than likely, it'll be till 
late Monday that I'll have it up. I'll try to have it up early Monday, but I don't make any promises. So more than likely, it'll be to the till um, after work. So again, award season is here. Exciting times. Um, before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and of course, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concessions. Bye!